Uh, today we are going to do a presentation together with my colleagues on a proposed project. Um, basically, over the years, the university's mode of clearing courses has been, you know, manually done. So this has continued, you know, since the, the time the, the university decided to, to do the clearing of courses. So seeing that, you know, the process has been quite tedious on the part of students and stressful as they are required to move from office to office. And also that the process is mandatory that every student has to do it at the end of the year. So it's, uh, we thought it's important for, for the process to be done online for it would be easier for students to do it that way. So our aim is basically to migrate the whole process from being physical into an, an online pro, uh, platform. So the platform will be built using the main stack, which in, includes the MongoDB, which is a database, ExpressJS, ReactJS, and Node.js, which are basically frameworks and a library, which is ReactJS. So um, the duration and milestones, uh, the project will run for eight months. So it started in March and it will run up all the way to the 26th of November, depending on, you know, how the, the calendar will be uh, scheduled. If there'll be no changes, this will be maintained. So those diamonds represent uh, the milestones that we are expected to, you know, start and complete certain um, uh, uh, tasks and activities. So in, 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 in July, you're expected to have uh, finished the planning stage. Then in, um, August, we should be starting with the, the design. And then October, we should be starting the implementation, which will run up to November. And, you know, um, the project significance, uh, the significance of the project per se, is that it will generally ease the process of cost clearing. And also it will result in productivity, as you know, as you may be aware, at the same time that lecturers do the clearing of courses, that is the approval or clearing of certain courses, the lecturers uh, will still be involved in exam monitoring. So it sort of divides their productivity as they have to concentrate on both those things. So once it is taken online, it will be done with ease and they can do it at any time in their own convenience. And also it will reduce uh, expenditure on part of the on the part of the institution as they will no longer have to spend in terms of buying plain papers to use for the funds. My colleague will pick it up from here. Hello, my name is Miriam Koka, and I'll present on the problem statement of this project. <clears throat> so despite the clear importance of this process. The University of Zambia students still face several challenges when it comes to clearing courses at the end of each academic year. Specifically, they're still expected to queue up in front of lecturers' offices. Forms are required to request clearance of any obligation. Furthermore, many students do not reside on campus and will have to often commute to complete the process, which can be even more tedious when it comes when students are also concerned about departing from campus or traveling back to their hometowns. This often results in students not finishing the clearance process, which in turn attracts a penalty during graduation. This method of clearance is not only tedious for the students, but also for the university lecturers, as during the same period, they're encumbered with grading exam papers on top of their general responsibilities. Thus, the constant coming and goings of students wishing to be cleared becomes very disruptive to their work. It is because of the above stated reasons that our projects will act as an essential resource to the students and faculty of the University of Zambia, as it aims to solve the problem of physical interactions between students and lecturers when it comes to course clearance. Our broad objective for this project is to make the clearing process easy and fast. And our specific objects are as follows. To design a digital database oriented system of course clearing, to reduce course clearing workload for lecturers, to make the clearance process accessible to all at any time, 
And the research questions are as follows. Is the design and development of the course clearance process effective? Does the manual way of clearing easy work for lecturers? Is the clearance process accessible to all at any time? Thank you, my colleague will pick it up from here. Thank you. Uh, my name is Mono Kata, and we'll go over the related work section of this presentation. So there have been several projects that have similar capacities. We will only, we'll, to name a few, we'll start by talking about the smart clearance system, which was implemented in Nagpur University. This system is unique as it implements a smart card based digital information platform that tracks and records uh, balances that are accrued by students during their stay, their stay in school. The motivation of this project was to create an online based uh, system that digitized the process of clearance for students before their graduation. Where this project differs from our online student course clearance system is the, its implementation of physical smart cards, controllers and readers for its functionality, whereas the online student course clearance system aims at complete digitization of use. The second project we will look at in terms of related work is the automated student clearance portal. Now, this is a completely web-based portal, which is accessible by both students and lecturers and allows students to make online requests for their courses. The first figure we will look at and, and is showcases an image of the system that is, that is as it is in use. The second image is of the lecturer's interface, which showcases a lecturer's uh, view of the portal in which a student, uh, where the, the students have requested clearance and the lecturer can either approve or deny their request. Moving on, we will talk about the proposed solution and the aim of this, our project is to create a user-friendly and efficient means of course clearing, which will be much faster and more convenient than the more the traditional physical means of requesting course clearance. Thank you very much, and I'll pass it off to my colleague to continue. My name is uh, Makanta Lakson, and I'm going to be walking you through on how we intend to handle the procedures and methods of our project. So basically, the project will take advantage of the agile development as well as the integration and configuration process. So these methodologies were chosen due to the nature of the system, which intends to match the existing manual process and user requirements. Thus, regular feedback is needed. And on the next page here, I have the, the diagram, which is showing the interface of the student as well as the interface of the lecture. So I'm going to leave it here and I'll give chance to my colleague to the rest. Hi everyone, my name is Wes Montali. I'm going to take you through the anticipated outcomes and also the conclusion. So provided the project um, meet all its targeted uh, objectives, there are a number of expected outcomes by which the success of this project will be measured. Okay, so we expect that uh, there will be accurate submissions as the online form will be authenticated. And we also expect that there will be uh, faster and uh, uh, efficient course clearance by students. Um, further, we expect that uh, there will be elimination of physical contacts. Face-to-face um, -face interactions will be eliminated. Then we also anticipate that there will be a faster way of uh, operations and also response time. Uh, in conclusion, I would like to say that uh, the fulfillment of this project will not only guarantee a quicker, efficient and authentic way of cost clearing for students, but also make the work easy for the lecturers as they will be able to validate the process at their convenient time. Thank you so much. This is the end of our presentation.